Labor Network continues our coverage of the Verizon strike. Late last week, the corporation put forth what it called its last best offer when it offered to increase the pay rates over the life of the new contract from 6.5 to 7.5 percent. This in spite of the fact that both sides say wages are not an issue in this strike. Verizon Chief Administrative Officer Mark Reed said after the unions rejected the proposal, quote, it's unfortunate that union leaders have denounced our proposal. We've given the union a great offer, end quote. An official with District 1 of the CWA, Bob Masters, stated a counteroffer was being delivered to Verizon Monday and said, quote, we always felt their description of it as a last best offer was more of an intimidation tactic than a description of what they're actually doing. End quote. Verizon spokesperson Richard Young said last Friday that more than a thousand unionized workers of the almost 40,000 who went on strike had returned to work, but Master disputed the account, stating that the striking workers are, quote, very united and very determined, adding that very few workers have crossed the picket line, quote, they're claiming 1,000 scabs and we think they're making that up. We're seeing virtually no one cross the picket line, end quote. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.